All right, everybody, today we're going to be doing expanding expressions, practice, and problem solving. I'm going to start with uh, the uh, odd ones. Uh, the first one's pretty basic. We're going to distribute properties. Uh, well, since we're multiplying everything on the outside, everything inside, this one's 83 times n will be our first one, and then a 3 times positive 7. And uh, 3 times n is 3n, and 3 times 7 is 21. So that's a pretty easy beginning. Let's go to number 9 now. Write and expand your forms. Well, this is going to be y times point times uh, 0.5. I'm going to be adding that to y times 8. And if I do that, I have uh, 0.5y plus 8y. And, well, since they're both n and y, my variables are the same, and I can combine that, and that's going to make 8.5y. Let's go to number 11. Uh, once again, we're distributing properties. Uh, 6 times y. is going to be added to 6 times x. Well, 6 times y is 6y. I'm going to add that to 6x. That's all we can do there. Number 13, I have negative 1 third times y minus x. Well, once again, this is going to be negative 1 third times y. And then, uh, let's see. This is minus here. We got a negative one third times x. Well, if we do this, uh, we've got negative one third y here. And let's see. A negative times a negative is a positive. And uh, one. Let's see, one-third times x will be one-third x. Uh, 15 is a high order of thinking. Grocery store is 13% left or 13% off the sale of all bread. You decide to purchase six loaves. Well, that tells me right there that the uh, cost of bread, original cost, is going to be uh, six times b because b is the original price. So original cost. Okay. Uh, now we have to expand this expression. The expression is 6 times B minus uh, 0.13B. All right, uh, let's see. Well, first of all, six times B is gonna give me six B. Positive times a negative is a negative. And this is 0. 0.13 times six, 0. 0.13 times six. That's gonna give me 18, carry the one, that'll give me seven. So 0. 0.78. B. Well, now both of these end in B, so we can go ahead and combine them if we want. 6 plus 7 is going to give us uh, 13. So I'm at, oh, but we're subtracting here, not adding. Now, that means we take the, uh, well, this isn't even a 7, it's a 0.7. I had to look closely at that. That means our big number is 6, and we're minusing 0.78 from it. And if I do that, I know I got to borrow one from here. Our big number is positive, so our answer would be positive. This would be 9. This would be 10. Uh, 8 minus 10, or 10 minus 8 is 2. And 9 minus 7 is 2. 
and we got two decimal points. So my answer is going to be 5.22b. 5.22b. Okay. Uh, once the expression is expanded, what do the terms represent? Well, first of all, we know that 6b represents original cost. Uh, this uh, right here, 6b minus 0.78b, that represents my discount. Right? That's going to be the 13% off. Now, uh, I have to look at this carefully. Uh, well, if I was going to use my answer, the answer would actually be what the cost of the bread would be. So, uh, whereas before I was paying $6 uh, times whatever the original cost is, this time uh, I'm going to pay, uh, let's see, 5.22 uh, times B, and that's going to tell me the new price. So um, 5.22 B is going to equal uh, the new price, new cost. All right, and let's go ahead and work number 17 now. Find the difference uh, equivalent to the product. Find a difference equivalent to this product. Well, remember what the words are saying. It says find a difference. A difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. And it's saying uh, find the difference, the answer to a subtraction problem is going to be equivalent to this product. Remember, this is multiplication here. I'm multiplying everything in front to everything in there. So let's go ahead and expand this first. 11 times X is going to give me 11x and 11 times a negative y is going to give you minus 11y. Okay, uh, now look what I have here. I have a subtraction problem. So the difference uh, with this equal is equivalent to this product here. And I can't do any more than that. Number 19, make sense and preserve. Use the distributive property to expand uh, this uh, expression. Well, if I used it, 7 times 7x, 7 times 7x, uh, then it's 7 times negative 3, uh, so that's going to be, uh, let's see, 7 times negative 3, so this would be uh, adding to 7 uh, times negative 3y. And then we're going to subtract 6. Well, 7 times 7x is going to give me 49x. And uh, let's see, 7 times negative 3 is negative 21y. Uh, and since a positive times a negative is a negative, this is going to be minus uh, 20 one y and then we're going to subtract six so i distributed the property and my new uh expanded uh, expression is 49 x minus 21 y minus six and i guess i'm on my last one now number 21 an architect plans to build an extension of Meeling's rectangular uh, deck let x represent the increase in meters of her deck length of her deck length okay uh the expression five times x plus eight represents the area well we're talking about area right five times remember this is her deck and then the expanded part is going to be x we don't know what that is but we do know eight is going to be added to x so x plus eight okay um uh, it says where 5 is the width and the meter in meters and x plus 8 represents the extended length. 
in meters use the distributed properties to write an expression that represents the total area of Mulini's deck. So the total area is length times width. So we're going with five uh, times x plus eight, which is pretty easy. Uh, five times x will give us five x, and five times eight will give us positive 40. So our expression uh, is going to be 5x plus 40. And uh, what does that represent? Well, that's going to represent the total area of the deck. So uh, I could just type that in. Is the total area of the deck. And that's it. I don't think there's any more. So I'm going to be shutting this one off and I'll see you in class. Good luck, everybody.